10.30 a.m. and we walk into a school and students are everywhere. There's sun shining through the windows. There's a table with breakfast food on it. And a lot of the students are talking and sitting together and, and walking to go sit with their friends. Most of them have a computer in front of them. Some are drawing. Some aren't doing much. But it is beautiful. And everybody has a purpose. As we walk, we, we begin to see different activities, different com hear different conversations. And if we listen closely, we might hear how African villages were designed for a purpose, dude. We need to have a purpose to our design. Or is, is a square a fractal? Can we use that? Miss, I need a computer right now. I need to finish my essay and my Google SketchUp. Mister, I need a pencil. Can I borrow one? I promise I'll give it back. You can keep it, have you? You stand in the middle of the wide open room with, with smaller rooms off to the side, and you notice kids are coming, going, and you're searching for teachers. And it isn't until you look really closely that you realize they're everywhere. They're sitting with students, they're walking with students, they're leaning over students' projects, talking about a design or helping them to solve a problem. They might be redirecting students who are acting a little too silly to get anything accomplished. You notice a group of boys walking out of a side room and head out to the back and you watch them put on some safety goggles and plug in a skill saw and start cutting wood you hope they've previously measured. And they come back in with three pieces of wood, one square and two two-by-fours with the edges or the ends cut at an angle. And you follow them into the room they re-entered and you ask if this is their woodshop class and they say, no, this is our minimalism project. We're making furniture. And we're learning English and Spanish and math. Oh, so you've already had wood shop then? No, we, we learned how to work with wood in projects. If we didn't learn it in previous projects, we'll learn it in this one. The students that are surrounding us come with the traditional labels such as poor, at risk, attention deficit, hyperactive, can't sit still, disengaged, apathetic, not proficient, and some have disciplinary issues at previous schools. You notice a young man whirling by, and you stop him and you ask him, what, you know, what, what class are you in? And he says, I'm in patterns in architecture. And he runs off with a box cutter and, and a, a glue gun and a foam board in his hands. It is a beautiful symphony of teaching and learning. And it's not what you expected from a school that focused on architecture, construction, and engineering, dedicated to providing the best experience to the students who need it the most. These young people are doing things that they're not to be able to do, given their traditional labels. So what surprised you? Was it no woodshop class? Was it no teachers not standing at the front of the room? Was it warm, freshly baked muffins sitting on the breakfast table? Or was it students going where they wanted to go when they needed to go there? Well, this experience is possible because our families, our, st our students, our community members, teachers, school leaders, and industry partners know that something, a different experience is needed and wanted. And they trust our school to be innovative enough to provide that. So I asked a final year student just, just the other day um, what, why, ease, why uh, learning was easier at ACE Leadership. And he said, um, he said that that we don't just learn a subject, 
we learn, we do something and we learn through that experience, that cohesive experiences lead to deeper understanding and reflective thought. That cohesiveness he spoke about is because we design curriculum with industry partners, because we mentor our students into becoming young adults, and we value their assets and build upon them. Public education, innovation in public education needs to be supported and trusted. We ask students to step out of their comfort zone every day, and we as adults need to as well. We need to think about what could be in education and make it happen. Thank you. <laughs>